Well, hi there, audience. I am uh, Stephen McMain. I am a nuclear scientist, as you can probably tell. Uh, I am attractive. Yes, uh, today we're doing a video on how to survive a nuclear attack. I have a few things in my room that has prepared me for surviving a nuclear attack. For example, I have a camera so I can send every picture that I take of the nuclear event before I sneak into my little secret bunker. I also have, um, what else do I have that I can hide? Oh yes, um, I recommend if, if you've got a, a house, you hide in the doorway. Yes, the doorway is the strongest bit of the house, but if you're upstairs like me, it will probably still crumble and you will still die. Don't forget, tuck and roll. Tuck and roll, that's the key to surviving a nuclear attack. Tuck and roll. It really won't help, you'll still get incinerated. However, if you are far enough away from the blast, it will uh, shield you from the nuclear uh, exposure to the radiation levels. I'm mumbling shit. Um, but that doesn't matter, because my house is made of granite. Because I live in Aberdeen in Scotland. Aberdeen in Scotland is one of the best known places for its granite supply due to a large amount of um, granite deposits under the ground which makes Aberdeen uh, uh, you know a likely enough target for a nuclear attack as much as everywhere else in the world. Um, I don't know who exactly is going to attack us, I reckon it's going to be um, the, the um, I'll say, uh, Mars. Yeah, they have nuclear capability now. America's trying to sanction them but they're not allowed um, being a foreign planet. Yeah. Goddamn Martians. But that's not the point of this talk. The whole point of this talk was for me to tell you about how to survive a nuclear attack. So, right now, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can survive a nuclear attack. 